Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing, back with another episode of Talking Trident. And today we're gonna to be answering a question that I never thought I'd have to answer, which is, should you use hiking boots or wading boots? Stay tuned. Now, before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and more importantly, to send us your questions so we can answer them right here on Talking Trident. Now let's find out which boot is better. Now, for most of us who have been fishing for a long time, this question is pretty obvious. You should always be waiting in a waiting boot. But if you're a beginner and you're trying not to spend a lot of money, you might have an old pair of hiking boots lying around. And you might be wondering, why can't I use these for fly fishing? And well, technically you can, but for almost every situation, it's not really a good idea. And here's why. Number one is sizing. Hiking boots, presumably the ones that you've bought in your size, are gonna be way smaller than your wading boots. I wear a size nine in my hiking boots and a size 10 in my wading boots. Waders are thick. Your typical pair of Sims will have a five millimeter stocking foot and I'm gonna put some heavy socks inside of that as well. So not only are wading boots gonna be in a different size, but they're also like a triple or quadruple E width to accommodate that extra width. Not so with your standard hiking boot. Reason number two not to wear your hiking boots is gonna be drainage. These hiking boots are designed to be dry all the time. Fill them up with water and well, you might be able to drink out of it, but they're not gonna drain very well. Wading boots, on the other hand, are designed to drain. They've got holes in the sole, around the sole, to make sure all that water drains out as soon as you leave the water. So you're not gonna be carrying around 10 extra pounds every time you step in and out of the water. And speaking of being underwater, reason number three is that wading boots are made from materials that are designed to work well underwater. Not only that, they're designed for the wet dry cycle that your wading boots are inevitably gonna go through. So if you wear them fishing one day, then dry them out, then go fishing a week later, these boots are gonna be designed for it. Your leather hiking boots on the other hand, well, they're gonna get pretty much destroyed. All of that changing in humidity and water, it's just gonna destroy these boots. And reason number four, and perhaps the most important reason not to wear your hiking boots is gonna be the sole. Wading boots are designed to be used underwater. And you can get soles like these that will prevent you from slipping on the river bottom. And whether you use these studs or felt or anything else, wading boots are gonna be fantastic at keeping you attached and more importantly, upright in a river. Hiking boots, while the sole might say Vibram on it, those are designed to keep you from slipping on dry rocks and to work well when hiking. Put these in a river with some slippery rocks, you're gonna be sliding everywhere and you're probably gonna get hurt eventually. I wanted to briefly interrupt this review to let you know that this video is supported 100% by your purchases at Trident Fly Fishing. So if you're in the market for some new tackle, check us out at tridentflyfishing.com. And if I haven't convinced you yet that wading boots are the way to go, you might be thinking, well, what about wet wading? And sure, in wet wading situations, maybe you're not wearing waders and sizing isn't an issue, but everything else still is. You'll be much safer and much more comfortable wearing a pair of wading boots, or better yet, a pair of wet wading boots than you will wearing your hiking boots. So is there a place or a time when it makes sense to wear your hiking boots? Well, if you're never getting wet, you can definitely wear hiking boots. And maybe, maybe, maybe if it's your first time fly fishing and you happen to have a pair of boots that you really, really don't like anymore, you can wear them once until you realize that wading boots are the way to go. Tell us what kind of boots you wear by leaving us a comment in the box below. And don't forget, if you have questions about wading boots, sizing, or anything else, we've got a team of fly fishing experts ready to help. Give us a call at 888-413-5211 or email us 24-7 at support at tridentflyfishing.com. I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.